In today's Lightroom tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to get these colors working with this as the original image. So this is before, this is after. Let me show you how. So let me tell you guys about this picture. I took this with my 51.4 lens and I was using a 5D Mark III at the time. It was taken with an ISO of 160, f-stop was 2.0, and the shutter speed is 1 over 500th of a second. So those are all the technical parts of the photo. Let's get into how I'm going to color this. So the first thing, I really want to toggle the temperature and the tint. I'm going to do that the very last step, and I'll show you guys why. I feel like that is going to come together at the end. So we're just going to leave this, and we're going to go on over to the tone section. We have a lot of exposure, contrast, highlight. We have a lot of options here. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of contrast. So like I said before, we lost a little bit of the sky, but... If you bring down the highlights quite a bit and then the whites, you can see some of that sky is coming back. Yes, we can see those pretty clouds. I really feel like it makes a huge difference for the photo. Like, what's going on here? What's happening in Paris? So bring it all the way down, drop it low, just like Flo Rida said. Did he say that? When Flo Rida said Shorty got low, he was talking about the highlights and, you know, the shadows in your picture on in Lightroom when you edit. So there's a little bit of history. If you guys didn't know, that's a joke. <laughs> okay. Next thing I want to just bring up the blacks a little bit. I feel like in the hair too, especially, let me show you guys, it kind of gets a little dark and you start to lose a bit of that detail. So I'm just bringing that out a little bit and then I'm bringing up the shadows too. So let me show you guys that before and after already. Like, did I even do anything? Wow, incredible. Next thing we want to do is add a little bit of clarity. And I always like to desaturate just a little bit. I don't like my photos to be super saturated. And the reason why is when you're adding in a lot of colors to a photo that already has a lot of color, then it starts to get really cakey. You know, when you put too much makeup on, that's kind of what it reminds me of. So decreasing the saturation to about negative eight that's just one of the things that i do desaturate the main photo the base sometimes i like to start out and edit i go straight for the tone curve other times it's best to make small adjustments to begin with and then adjust the tone curve at the very end when all the colors are already added so it really depends on how much color you're adding to the photo so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to set a little bit of a base here and you know, I see a lot of people doing stuff like this, very muddy, like I see this so much, something like this. So don't, you don't wanna do too much of that cause you lose a lot of detail, like notice in her hair too. So I'm, you, can, you can make it a little bit more, you know, contrasted, but not too much to where you're, you lose the beautiful details in the photo. But that's just my personal style. So I'm just gonna do this a little bit, adjust, a tiny bit of adjustment. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to the tone curve. We're coming back to pick tone curve up at the bus stop. So we're going to come back. Going over to the hue saturation luminance, I haven't added my main colors yet. So we're going to come back to this too. So next up is split toning. What I want to do is add a little bit of yellow. So I literally just brought that in a little bit. It's at 51 for the hue. And saturation, I really keep it very minimum. So that could be anywhere from one to five. And then as far as the shadows go, we're gonna keep it. It's gonna be like an orange yellow color. So just toggle this hue slider right here. And then we're gonna bring up the saturation to about four. So nothing too crazy. Let me show you guys without the split toning. You can probably see it right here. Like pay attention here. It's very subtle. You know, when I've been looking at screens my entire life. I can tell like if there's a little pixel right there that's missing. That's where my life's gone to. <laughs> that's where my life is at right now. So now we're at the calibration section and this is where our Cinderella moment is going to happen. And also shout out to Cinderella because I wouldn't, why were you mopping their floors? I, that's messed up. You deserved better. I'm on your side. So let's check out the red primer here. Let me show you guys what we got to work with. So each primary section, if you will, changes up a complete different set of colors. So 
green primary, you know, you're seeing the skin tones change from yellow to this pink tone. And blue primary is actually my favorite. Blue primary, I find, really changes the hue of the blue. To, it's such a pretty shade of blue. But you want to be careful. You don't want to do something like this where you just change up like the two main colors. And now you just have like these two main weird colors that don't match, you know. So you want to use these together. We're working together as a team here. So the first thing we want to do is go on over to the red primary. And I'm going to bump this up to about 37 and we're going to decrease the saturation just a little bit so we got plus 37 minus 7 and then as far as the green goes let's bump this up to 34 look how pretty that looks already let me show you guys this is what we did so far very like you guys are like nothing happened i know right but that's the magic because you don't realize that stuff just happened <laughs> But it did, just like in our normal lives. Okay, so green primary. Let's bump the saturation up so we can really see that difference. So I'm gonna, I'm thinking like, I had it written down. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to actually bump this up a little bit more, kind of to match the saturation. And even if the skin is looking a little bit more on the orange side, don't worry, I'm going to show you how to fix that. So we have green primary, bumped both of those up last one blue primary now this is where you kind of have more control over the colors and i told you guys i love the left section you know this kind of turquoise blue so we're going to set it to about negative 43 and then saturation just a little bit maybe like negative four let me show you guys that complete change okay so that's before and that's after calibration so I love the, the background color. Sometimes I'll color something like this and only pay attention to the background and see how it's affecting the background because you can usually make adjustments to the skin, which is why I'm going to go on over to the Hue, Saturation, Luminance tab. This is important here. What we're going to do now is correct the skin tone or at least fix it to my liking. So I'm going to go on over to the Saturation and we're paying attention to orange because, I mean... That's what we got here. We're working with a lot of orange. So all you got to do is just lower the saturation. And it pinpoints all the orange in the photo. And something like this. And then luminance. You can add a little bit more brightness to the... to Only the orange, which is great. It doesn't affect any other part of the photo. Like if I bump this up, you can see what it's doing right there. So... I'm going to bring this up to about plus 10. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys just the hue saturation luminance. So that's before, very orange, very flat, and after. So all we did was a little bit of luminance, a little bit of saturation. And if you want, you can always bump up the orange if you want a little bit more color. You can also play around in the hue tab under orange and just see what kind of colors you get. From there, I'm going to keep it kind of simple. And then I told you guys we're going to go on over to the temperature, the very last step. So let's just see what we got here. Usually what I'll do is just toggle back and forth and see what kind of look this gives me. If you're adding more warmth, this is what's going to happen. So I feel like if you wait till the very last step to change the temperature, you're going to get the best results sometimes. So just I think a little bit of warmth kind of looks nice. What do you guys think? And the last step, we're going to go and make a mask. So go to this mask session right here. Make sure everything is default because sometimes I don't have everything default. Okay, so everything's pretty much default. Except the clarity. That's what I want. I want to put the clarity to 25 and then take a pretty large brush. I think whatever default brush is, as long as it has a lot of feather in it. And then what you want to do is go over the model and it's adding clarity only to the subject, which makes her stand out so much. And if you think it's too much, the great thing about it is you can just make adjustments pretty easily. Let me show you guys that difference. So that is before clarity and that is after. I really kept the background pretty much the same. The background has no added clarity other than what I added on 
to the base, which is it's not really too much, but I added some extra clarity to the model to make her pop out more. So some last minute things that you can do. You can adjust the curves layer, as I said before. You can make any adjustments. And now this gives you a better idea of the final photo because then you got all your colors that you like in there. So it just kind of makes it easier to see. So I think that looks pretty good. Let's bring this down a little bit. And another thing that you can do is back at the Hue Saturation Luminance tab, if you go on over to Saturation and you select the aqua and blue, you can actually bring out the color of the sky. So I think that would be blue. So we got a little bit more blue coming in. So this is all just based on preference. I've seen photographers who had a lot of blue. They love it. It's, again, all up to what you like in your photos. Um, you can go to the luminance tab and adjust the luminance of the blue. If you want it to be a little bit darker, you want it to be brighter. I think this looks perfect. I'm really happy with the end result. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Let me know if you guys want to see more. And I would love to thank you guys so much for watching. Let me show you a final before and after. This is before and this is after. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it.